Hi, everybody. It is August 11, 2021. I want to thank my subscriber for leaving in the comments section Tim Truth's video on this executive order. Tennesseans, Tennesseans, circulate this far and wide. And then everyone else circulate this far and wide because it's not just Tennessee. These executive orders, these governors that actually think that they have the power, the authorization to write these executive orders, which are essentially uh, Nazi orders. Um, mm -mm -mm. How did they get that power? Consent by the people. Boy, do the people need to withdraw their consent. So I posted the video last night on the CDC's camps. Tennessee, your camps. These executive orders are being written by all governors. Red, blue, conservative, liberal. And they're, you know, any adult who has read this executive order and denies what's behind it is a child and they don't want to see what is happening in our country. So they're sawing wood here and it makes it very hard to concentrate. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but I sure can. So I'm going to play uh, Tim Truth's video right here. I'll play out the entire video. Um, please pay careful attention. <laughs> These executive orders are getting more obvious where this COVID-19 is leading us. All right. Stay safe, everybody. But listen up. Circulate, please. I'll take the experimental injections. Wow, an evil executive order was just signed in Tennessee. This is crazy. It okays the building of concentration camps. It authorizes the National and State Guards. And it also talks about how they can call you up and do a mental health assessment. If they don't like your behavior, if they think you're crazy, then they can forcibly lock you up in an asylum. This is insane. And the fourth point I want to bring up is it seems like a lot of this bill is about lowering the requirements for health care hiring, especially. And I think this is because they're planning on forcing out from the medical industry, all the hospitals and such, people who won't take the stabs, who won't take the experimental injections. So they have to hire more people. And it's not based on who's got the best merits. It's based on compliance and obedience which is an incredibly vicious cycle because it perpetrates the concentration camps. It perpetrates this punitive psychiatry of the forced asylums. So they're lowering their standards because they're going to fire a bunch of good people from the healthcare system. People who do their research and think for themselves. The kinds of people that I would want looking after me if I ever went to those godforsaken hell holes called hospitals. So let's check out this executive order. This is executive order number 83, dated on August the 6th. And shout out to Mike Adams for breaking this story. So this is out of the state of Tennessee in the United States. Governor Bill Lee unilaterally pushed this through. And it's called, in order to facilitate the continued response to COVID-19. So these people milk this cash cow for all it's worth. They're doing all their tyranny. This is crazy. So let's start with the building of the concentration camps. It's probably a good one to start with. Temporary quarantine and isolation facilities may be constructed. We're suspending the Tennessee Code, Section 6811-202, it says, to allow for the construction of temporary structures. So it says right here, they're altering the Tennessee Code to allow them to construct temporary structures, which would otherwise be subject to review for all these other regulations. And what will these temporary structures be used for? Well, temporary quarantine and isolation. Quarantine and isolation. So they're building concentration camps to house what, the unvaccinated people, the people who test positive for COVID? This is sick, and it proves the long-term agenda here. This isn't going away anytime soon. 
And also, why don't you put this at number one? You're calling for concentration camps and you're going to bury it down at number 18? Well, maybe that's because 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. Is that it? And I know what some of you were thinking. I'm thinking it too. Doesn't Tennessee already have concentration camps? I guess they're expanding. This is terrifying, folks. Do you guys remember this headline? This story from May of 2020? COVID-19 patient arrested after leaving fairgrounds quarantine. Court records show. So I believe it was a homeless man who was rounded up and thrown into a concentration camp. And he tried to leave. He jumped the barbed wire and he left. They tracked him down and they threw the book at him. He was charged with fleeing. The concentration camp. This is in Tennessee. This is crazy. To allow for the construction of temporary structures. Wow. So they don't have enough space. I guess they filled up all of their permanent structures. And now they're going to start building temporary camps. This is obscene. This is evil. Now let's look at the next terrifying aspect of this bill. National and state guards authorized. And it's very vague about what they're authorized to do. And keep in mind, they've been trying to normalize the police and the military going door to door with these vaccine propagandist door knocker snake oil salesmen. This is crazy. So here on page five, number eight, discretion to utilize National Guard and State Guard members in connection with certain health care and emergency services operations. This is crazy. So anything having to do with COVID, apparently now they can use the National Guard and the State Guard. Wow. Horrifying. So it says, namely, personnel may perform authorized diagnostic testing for COVID-19 in healthcare settings, including but not limited to, including but not limited to hospitals, emergency departments, and alternate care sites, collectively known as facilities. They can perform authorized nursing and other functions in facilities, and they can also operate ambulances, it says. It says the following provisions are hereby suspended which is something they do a lot of in this document, suspending regulation to push forward their agenda. With respect to licensure, continuing education, and other requirements for personnel or facilities utilizing personnel. So we're going to get to this in a second, but a lot of this document is about lowering the standards, presumably because they're going to fire a bunch of people for ideological differences. In clear violation of the Nuremberg Code, because this centers around people not wanting to be part of this grand experiment. And they're being punished and coerced and threatened and intimidated. It's obscene, and we should call this out and reject this on its face. So just to recap, so far we've covered the governor okays the building of concentration camps for COVID-19. He authorizes the national and state guards, pretty much the military, right? That's a scary combination. So let's go to the third point here. They can call you up and involuntarily confine you. Look here at number 14 on page number 7. Telephone assessments for involuntary commitment cases are permitted. So presumably they already have some punitive psychiatry system. And if you've never heard of punitive psychiatry, you really ought to look it up. It's where the state punishes dissenters by forcing them in asylums or forcing treatments on them or taking away their rights, etc. It seems we can't shake this terrifying atrocity called punitive psychiatry. It's been with us for a long time, and I see it rearing its ugly head big time very soon. So presumably they would have to see people in person previously to involuntarily confine them. But now they can do it over the phone. They can literally phone it in as they steal people's liberties and force them to go somewhere that they don't want to go. Hence the word involuntary. This is disgusting. This is evil. These people never committed a crime, yet they're being targeted by the state using the guise of psychiatry. This is the state that is ruining, systematically ruining the minds of hundreds of millions of people in this country alone with the forced masks, the masks in schools for hours on end for the children, all the fear-based propaganda, and then they pretend to care about our health as an excuse to take away our rights and target dissenters. And you can bet they're going to start calling people mentally insane for not wanting their vaccine as soon as it comes to that point for them. Now, some of them will actually believe it, but the people actually pushing forward the plan 
knows it's just a great excuse for them. They can pretend to be virtuous. Oh, we just care so much about mental health. That's one reason why we're hearing the liberals talk about it so much. And the conservatives. Whenever there's a shooting, the conservatives have been trained to say, it's a mental health issue. It's a mental health issue. Don't take away our guns. And of course, I'm for the Second Amendment, but calling it a mental health issue is playing right into the hands of the establishment. And we're already seeing this floated around. This idea of having to undergo a psych eval to buy a gun has been seriously proposed in this country, which is insane and a clear violation of the Second Amendment. So we can see on number 15 here, they're going to increase testing by opening up more locations. That's because they want the data to play out in a certain way to give them more power. And the cases allow them to pretend like they have some legitimacy in their overreactions. But one other thing I really want to point out here is much of this document is about lowering the standards for who can be hired. Now, I'm pretty sure this is because they're going to fire a bunch of unvaccinated people. They might have already done so or forced them out one way or another. But then they'll be massively understaffed. So now they're just going to drop all of their requirements. They're like, you don't have to be that good to work here. You just have to submit to Big Pharma. That's how we roll around here. So out-of-state health care providers may practice in Tennessee. Retired medical professionals can easily re-enter the health care workforce. Practicing nursing graduates may practice under supervision without examination. Medical professional staffing flexibility is permitted pursuant to an approved plan to relieve the capacity strain on certain staffing functions. Behavioral health, what the hell is behavioral health? Behavioral health, inpatient, psychiatric, residential, and crisis care staffing flexibility is permitted pursuant to an approved plan to relieve the capacity strain on certain staffing functions. Are these the shrinks that are going to be involuntarily committing us over the phone? So lots of stuff about, quote unquote, staffing flexibility. If they really cared about staffing flexibility, they wouldn't fire people in clear violation of the Nuremberg Code. This is insane. Now, what I really hate is this is paving the road. It's like rolling out the red carpet for an almost certain horrific outcome in the future. I see some awful atrocities on the horizon. Okay, just to recap, in Tennessee, they've okayed the building of concentration camps. The National State Guards are authorized, forced asylums. They can commit you over the phone and lower standards for healthcare hiring. So please share this news. This is crazy. We need to stand up for the people in Tennessee and in all the other places where this is going to get rolled out. If you want to support this show, check out groupdiscover.com. We have a great community over there, lots of great videos in the repository. It's easy to add new videos. Just click new video, paste the URL, and it's also easy to find a lot of great channels on a lot of great platforms such as Rumble, Odyssey, BitChute, Brightian, even YouTube. And we're running a sale right now, 25% off until 8.14 if you want to join us. The coupon code is TIMTRUTH, all lowercase one word. That's a lifetime savings of 25%. But it's only valid for another four days, so make sure to sign up soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Wow, an evil... Okay, so I would recommend you subscribe to Tim Truth, and he is on Odyssey, BitChute, Group Discover, Float.app. Great videos, very important information that he puts out. And again, I want to thank my subscriber for just mentioning this video because that's how you circulate information okay all right remember americans they're not well and as long as they are you know the order followers no it's not just military it's not just police americans order followers they take their orders, they follow their orders from their tyrants. They will turn against you who are not following orders. That's where we are. You know, face the reality that is really smack in your face. All righty. Please circulate Tim Truth's video. The link is below as well as the link to the executive order itself.